What is going on, Boulder Mountain Church? Thank you so much for tuning into this week's video devotional. It makes me so happy to know that there are some of us out there who are willing to sacrifice a couple minutes out of our day to come together, to focus on the Father's Word, to hear what He is trying to convey to us today, and hopefully, and most importantly, grow in faith. You know, every time I make these videos, I'm growing, and every time you watch them, I hope that you're learning something and you're growing. Most importantly, let's remember that Jesus said, wherever two or more gather in my name, I am there among you. So. Let's remember that Christ is here with us and he is teaching us. We are simply humble servants seeking to do his will. So without rambling anymore, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, we'll be covering the most important thing that a church should be doing, and that's moving, and specifically looking at the book of Acts. So to start this, I'm going to shoot a question your guys' way. What does it mean to move? And I'm not talking like Usain Bolt running across the street. I mean, what does it mean to spiritually move? Uh, more specifically, how do you know if a church is moving? And let's throw Boulder Mountain in there. How do we know if Boulder Mountain is moving? Well, to answer the question, you have to define what is a church? And believe it or not, there are some people that if you asked what a church was, they would start describing it, the cross, the slanted roof, the rows of seats. That's, that's the building, that's not the church. Um, in the Bible, actually, Paul describes the church being the body of Christ, in which we, our bodies are temples in which the Holy Spirit lives in, but the body of Christ is Every single person that's ever accepted Jesus in their hearts and they come together to worship Him, that's the church. The church is me, it's you, it's everyone watching this video. The people are the church and God's kingdom, God's community, God's church is constantly growing and that's what we're going to be looking at today. It's constantly moving. It's important to note, growing, moving, they, they, they coexist. Um, so the, yes, the church is the people, right? So. To grow, to, to focus on the church and to see if it's growing, if it's moving, that, that requires a, a constant outreach to the community. So relationships with people requires a constant outreach to the community. This, this is really important to know. Um, that means that you're, you're talking to people, you're, you're spreading the word, you're getting out there. It, it's going to be uncomfortable at times, there's, there's certain situations that you get put in Know that God has put you in that situation for a purpose and for a reason. And it takes trust in the Father that He is going to guide you and lead you in what to say in those situations. So it takes constantly reaching out. Growth is an indicator of spiritual movement. That's, if you're growing, you're moving, right? So what does all this mean? Well, in the book of Acts, specifically verse 4, Jesus says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That's such good news. That, that's, that makes me so happy to know that Jesus has called me, you, everyone watching this, everyone who has accepted Jesus in his heart, to be his witnesses. He is saying, go, spread my word, do my will. That's, that's good news, that's great to hear. And to spread his word and do his will, it takes getting up and moving. It takes relationships, it takes the constant outreach to the community. So when we preach God's word and testify to the truth and salvation we know in Jesus, we need to preach truthfully and wholeheartedly. And I know a lot of people go, well, I'm not good at public speaking, I'm not good at talking, I'm a little antisocial. I get it, I'm there right with you. But Jesus also has given us all gifts. Everyone is unique in their own way. And Jesus is working through every single heart and soul that has accepted him in his heart. And he is constantly striving to reach out to those who maybe don't know him, who refuse to accept him. He's using you. He has called you to be his servant. Um, to, to prove that, uh, I'm going to share one of my favorite verses I've ever read out of the Bible. And that's Matthew 9:37. Jesus is talking to his disciples about movement and about growth. And he says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Church, Boulder Mountain, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is such good news. Jesus is saying that the laborers are few. Pray to God to send out laborers into the harvest, which is this world. Send them out to spread his word, to testify to the truth you know, to be his witnesses. That's what we are. We are to be his witnesses. And when we preach and we go and we talk about God's word, God's love, God's grace, and the sacrifice that his son made on that cross for us, we're growing, they're growing. It's, it all works together because that's just how good God is. And that is how amazing and magnificent his power, 
and his will work together. It's, it's astonishing. So church, if there's, there's one last thought I can leave you with today, I know this was a short video and I hope you learned something again, but I'm, I'm gonna encourage you and I'm going to challenge you. One person this week, one person. It might be a fellow believer that goes to church with you. It might be someone who's never even heard of Jesus. It might be someone who maybe doesn't even like the idea of religion. I'm just asking one person. I ask that you encourage them and that you, you preach wholeheartedly to them. Share a testimony. Maybe it's a personal experience. Maybe it's one of your favorite stories of the Bible. Just do it. Get up and move. Jesus, with, with the verse I just shared for you from Matthew 9, 37, he isn't asking that you convert every single heart. He knows that's unrealistic and that's not, that's not feasible. What he's asking though is that you try. You get up. You spread his word. You testify to the truth you know. You be a witness and you move. That's all that Jesus is asking. And why shouldn't we? Jesus, he spent his whole life doing it. It makes me so happy to know that he's called us to do it as well. So Boulder Mountain Church, anyone that tuned in to watch this video, maybe you just stumbled across it. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I just, I pray and hope that you have a great week and that you continue to grow in faith. All right, have a good one.